Hello, I'm your host, Kevin Kraft. Welcome to the WordPress Advisor's e-commerce training program. This is lesson two, customizing WordPress. By the end of this lesson, you will know how to make WordPress look and function the way you want it to. First, we'll talk about themes. We'll show you how to find and install themes, how to identify a good theme, and we'll demonstrate some themes that we recommend. Then we'll talk about plugins. We'll show you how to find and install plugins, and we'll demonstrate some plugins that we recommend. Finally, we'll put it all together and walk you through how to build a web store from the ground up. Themes are essentially a way to customize the look and feel of your WordPress site. With the click of a button, you can make your WordPress site look like an e-commerce site, a sales page, a fashion blog, or just about anything else. Themes are also risk-free. If you install a theme and decide you don't like it, or if you just want to change your theme to something different, then it's as easy as clicking a few buttons in the admin panel. There are two ways to find WordPress themes. You can use the built-in themes section in the WordPress admin panel, or you can perform a search on Google. All of the themes that can be found via the WordPress admin panel are currently free, but most of them are made specifically for blogging. Jeremy will show you how to find and install a theme with the admin panel. To install a new theme from the admin panel, you'll want to click on Themes underneath the Appearance tab in your dashboard. Then you'll want to click on Install Themes. You may search for a theme via term, author, or tag here. In this case, we could type something like dark blog. And it would bring up a number of different themes that we could install for free. In this case, I like pixel. You can click preview and it will show you what your blog will look like using that theme. Motion is also a very nice one. Let's go ahead and install the Pixel theme. Click Install, and then click Install Now. Click Activate, and you'll see that your theme has been installed. You can visit your site and see the changes. If you don't like it, all you have to do is click on another thing that you have. In this case, I'd like to go back to 2011. Now you can search for installed themes here, or you can just click on them as you see them. I'm going to go ahead and click Activate 2011 to go back to my default. You can also search the internet for WordPress themes. The themes you find on the internet will vary in quality and some will cost money. Generally, premium themes are higher quality and are usually worth the investment over their free alternatives. You really do get what you pay for when it comes to WordPress themes. Jeremy will show you how to find and install a theme via Google search. Now let's look how to install a theme from Google. In this case, I'm going to bring up Google.com and I'm going to search for Boutique Theme Elegant Themes. Here you'll see the boutique WordPress theme elegant from Elegant Themes as the top result. You'll need to log in to Elegant Themes. Joining Elegant Themes costs $39, but you get access to all of their themes for life. They can, and they are continuously updating and adding new themes. So I'll go ahead and type in and log in. And I'm going to scroll down to Boutique and click Download. And I'll click Theme Package. This is going to download into my Downloads folder. Then I'll jump back over to my site 